So tonight's park up is on a working farm. Now it does state um, that no vans over six meters. Um, but obviously we're 7.4, no issues at all. They uh, ask that you park the other side of the patio area. So you've got a nice flat patio area itself. We're just sort of um, southeast of uh, Utrecht. We're gonna go into Utrecht this afternoon on the bus and public transport. You can cycle in there, drive in there, um, all that way, you just get the bus. Um, the location, what three words, is Unwavering Queen's Angering. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, anyhow, catch you in a bit. So that's us, we're gonna head off into uh, Utrecht now by bus. So that's the site there. And the bus stop is right there, catching Utrecht. So that's us arrived in Utrecht itself. Um, first stop off was the brother-in-law's tap house, hydration station, amazing rain, a range of beers. Um, and that, but anyhow, catch you in a bit. Getting more waterways, people just chilling out by the water. Participating in water sports there. What a way to go. What a way to spend a Saturday afternoon on the water, anyhow. Loads to discover, catching a bit. There's lots of people sort of just sat down by the canal. Um, don't know if it's little cafes, restaurants, bars or whatever. Obviously that's a bar and that. Um, or whether it's just what people own, part of their house. Gives them access down onto the canal itself. What about that there? Amazing. Certainly buzzing with folk. Street artist over there, singing away. Again, absolutely buzzing. Quite an impressive looking building. Right, we're just looking for somewhere to uh, get hydrated. Catch you in a bit. That's an impressive looking building. Oh my god, how busy is it? Almost looks like a castle. Getting lots of people. Hydrating. And having fun on the water. Let's go and see if we can uh, get some hydration.
So this is the uh, St Augustus Church. And again, heading down to another busy bit. That's a bit rather bizarre looking uh, statue. Really got to watch where you're going around here. All the bikes flying about. Another sculpture. Again, like everywhere we've seen in the Netherlands so far, some amazing buildings. Just in the distance there you can see yet another windmill. More canals. A little bit quiet here. So we spotted this tower from some distance away and went hunting for it and eventually found it. Turns out it's a water tower. People having fun on the water. Absolutely buzzing this place. Again, some amazing buildings. So it's a Sunday, 1st of October. We should have been moving on, but because the weather's fantastic and not only that more importantly is when we went into uh, Utrecht yesterday we didn't even scratch the surface so we decided to stay on another night because we can like most you can because we're flying by the seat of our pants Jack's been doing some planning while I was doing some editing so we'll catch you in Utrecht in a little while well maintained looked after Chickens. Hmm. Okay. Logs. Lady. There's your. What you waste recycling? Bits for kids. Um, sinks, doing your washing, chemical toilet, and inside there there's um, the urinals, toilets and showers. The showers are very good. Right, catch it in. You click. So for all of you that like your food, there's a huge air fryer over there. We're just in the area of um, Central Station. Um, we didn't come from our normal route on the bus because of um, I believe there's a marathon or something like that, but this is quite busy. Huge shopping, shopping centre for those that like to uh, get a bit of retail therapy. But anyhow, we're just going to go and um, discover some more of new trick because like we said yesterday, all we did was just really scratch the surface. That huge chair. Even my legs are dangled from that. Catching a bit. This looks quite popular around here with all this transport parked up 
Yeah, it's definitely some sort of race going on because I don't know if you can see right in the beginning there, or right in front, there's uh, a lot of people running by. There's music on, a bit of a party atmosphere going. I would like to be running this heat. On this little side street looks quite intriguing so we're just gonna pop down and have a look style shops and cafe type restaurants. I wonder what that is. towards the end of it. So for lunch we're just having some bread and dips from the Grolsch beer next to the canal. Over the far side where you can see everybody sat there in the holes. In medieval times that was storage areas. Uh, but obviously they're all now bars, cafes and stuff like that. What a place to sit on a Sunday afternoon, have a beer, have something to eat. Catch you in a bit. Now round two. Nachos. So that's where we had lunch in uh, Lust 109, next yeah, to the canal. Darlings. Lovely. Darlings. We thought that um, we could actually go around Utrecht in a day. Um, how wrong were we? There's so much to see. Um, some fantastic buildings, old cars. Just watching people go by, enjoying life on the water. We sat down, had a few uh, refreshments, well, hydrated, um, and that, but yeah, I would definitely put this in one of your places to go, but not one night. You definitely need at least two nights. Beautiful city in the Netherlands. Catch you in a bit. Sunday afternoon, people enjoying. Life on the water. Hard to believe it's the first of October. Jack and myself are both still in t-shirts and shorts. Because it's roasty toasty. You trick, you're fantastic. Look at it in broad daylight, just graffiti in a way. What an amazing city this is. Thank <laughs> you. 
Normal. Some stunning buildings. What an impressive looking church or cathedral. So you just go down side streets in New Tree and you just don't know what you're going to find. So this is us uh, heading back to Central Station and um, Utrecht, an amazing city, highly recommend anybody to put this on their list to visit. The buildings, the culture, the hydration stations and places to eat, absolutely fantastic. Catch you in a bit. So Utrecht Central Station. I hope you know what platform you need or where you're going or what bus you need that's the bus station just down there this is where we're heading the number 41 what well, a lovely night catch you in a bit